Okay, I'm going to need a motion and a second to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Go ahead. Okay, moved and seconded. All those in favor? Okay. So let's begin with board dialogue. And Ms. Jung, I think you've got a few things to tell us this evening. I do this evening. And just, I know I'm going to leave people out. And for that, I apologize. There's just been so much going on in the district. And to start off with the final four in the boys' basketball, what an honor it was to get to go to Columbia and to be part of the community that was there. And they just, just so proud of them and the effort they put into it. And the coaches and everybody involved was just a wonderful experience to be up there and be a part of that. Um, went to the spring play. I know several of the other board members did too. It was great as always. Enjoyed the spring play again. Tech nights. Went to Lincoln and high school and Dolores and I were at those and um, enjoyed those. I'm proud to say that I now know what formal flip geometry is. <laughs> and so I was just so excited when I got home about that. And hopefully we're going to have a lesson on formal flip geometry board members so that you all know what it is too and you'll be just as impressed as I was. Of course excited. Um, I, was, I was excited. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, high School World Cafe had an event and Dolores and I happened to meet there too and I think Angie was there and um, had wonderful food and just a wonderful, I think Lee Eaton put that on and her students and um, some past students showed up and it was just a, a lovely evening too and we've got a bunch of high school students I think going to uh, Mizzou for uh, band contest the first part of May. So just lots of exciting things going on in the district and just makes me feel proud to, to be a part of what's going on. So just wanted to say that tonight. Thank you very much. Anyone else? I, I don't see Mrs. Winch here, but I, at Lincoln they had their blood drive and when I was there I believe they had 37 units Great. at the time. That's awesome. And well, the only problem was they didn't get one because the computers went down and two hour wait I couldn't wait any longer so, <laughs> so I don't know how many they really ended up with uh, I know the high school I guess they had their blood drive today I wasn't able to get out there at the times so I miss it two drives we collected 70 usable units today so, okay, good, good. And, everything. and and I'd like to give a kind of a shout out to the to the wrestling team, they finished sixth in the state. They had six uh, medal contenders in that uh, with the basketball. So it was kind of a fun, fun month so far in that. Anyone else? Well, I think you guys just about covered everything. Thank you so much. Um, Mrs. Cheryl Robinson, front and center. Good evening. Um, it's Jefferson Night, as you well know. So we are here to present our Heartland Hero, um, which was very difficult to do this month, I must say, because we, uh, advisory, I think we took it to advisory, some of you on advisory about three times, looking on who we wanted for Heartland Hero. I have to... Uh, had to say one, and this is, and, and of course, all the advisory team said, oh, they'll just think we're trying to butter up, you know. But uh, Matt Rubel was one of our considerations for our Heartland Hero this year because he has our fourth grade basketball team that's in the Squishage Room. So uh, uh, he's come over and counseled them at times, and they needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Here comes Coach. In fact, I even call him Coach anymore because no, when he like, comes in, out yeah. So yeah, if you're on Coach Rubel's team, go out and talk to him right now. So um, um, we want to thank you for doing that. But he wasn't our finalist. Well, okay. thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, and he was That's glad. A he was. Great selection, by the yeah. way. Another one of our considerations was our wonderful cafeteria staff, who for the since the life of me at Jefferson for the last 12, how many 14 years I've been. I, I can't count right now. They have uh, been so nice as to have three grandparent luncheons for us in the month of September and three big meals and uh, with Mike Rawson's help. And they have done that so uh, diligently and not effortlessly, but they have done that. And we, I, we really wanted to thank them in a special way. But they, again, were a runner-up. Like I said, we went back to advisory again. And we finally came up with our finalist. And this is one of our... PTG members who has been with us for the last five years and has just kind of taken over chairmanship 
of many, many committees. Number one, the last year's first annual fall festival at Jefferson when we were expecting about uh, 50 people and 500 showed up and somehow or the other, and a magician that didn't give the prizes out correctly. But somehow or the other, we made it through because her husband just kept, kept going back to the pizza place and getting more pizza and giving people pizza, and that seemed to work. So um, she's her middle boy is a fourth grader this year, so this is her last year that she will be with us for several years because her baby is just a baby baby this year. And uh, so she won't be back at Jefferson for another five years, so we wanted to recognize her. Keila Files has been one of our chairpersons, and we would like to recognize her as our Heartland hero. You're welcome. Would you like Thank to speak? You. Well, um, not really, but that was a surprise. Um, Cheryl always adds an element of surprise. I thought I was coming for a bond issue discussion, but um, I would rather come for this. But anyway, but thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You need to shake the board member's hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all new to this. <laughs> More surprises from Cheryl. Much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Okay, second on our agenda, I have a, a video up here. Put, we sent in lots and lots of uh, still lifes and video clips to Aaron Murray, who I had years ago, and he is doing just a wonderful job. I'm sure you've seen all the, the uh, bond issue videos that he's done at each school, but he was nice enough to help put this together for us. And I looked at it, um, and I, I really do liked what he did because he, he's highlighted two very special groups that we've just start, had this year starting at Jefferson. We got highlights of the kids and their math contests and the student council and all this. But our character ed group run by Miss Ashley Williams Emmons back, Emmons back here, who by the way, um, you have her resignation papers tonight. She's going to Jeff City to be with her husband. So she's retiring this year from Jefferson. She's just now from Jefferson going to Jefferson, okay? going to Jeff City, but uh, she started Character Ed with the help of Stacy, and um, the, it's, just, it's just taken a life of its own. It, it really has taken a life of, of, of its own, and you'll see that in the video. And also, we have been adopted by the First Assembly of God Church right down the road where we evacuate to in case we have an emergency, but they decide to love us, and it's called Loving Jefferson. And they've come over this year and painted the inside of our building bright yellow, and it's just beautiful. And uh, they did that over Christmas and then snow days with the help of our custodial staff. Then we all got the whole inside painted, and now they're on the outside, and you'll see the outside. They've just done some beautiful yard work, and you'll see that on the current video. So I'm going to let you enjoy that and then I'm going to sit down. Okay. I see seven boxes. And what are those dots? Toys. How many toys are in each box? Four. Good. So, Yip, what's your job? How are you going to use that model drawing to help you? I'm going to use four and seven.
the stories together. Very good. I liked it when Paul and Rock became the letters. My favorite part was when Paul and Rock tried to get a whisker from a mountain lion. My favorite part was when he looks the whisker off of a leopard. That's my favorite part. Very good. Thank you. So to hear you guys uh, from Montana to New York or North Dakota or Mississippi or Farmington, Missouri, it's the most enjoyable thing is for you guys to talk about enjoying the story. Jennifer is the student rep in the jumper for heart that was shown up oh, there. Yes. It was a big task in herself to put together. Yeah. <laughs> I was. She was our new principal in the back. Thank you, Jefferson, very much. Okay, do we, we have anybody here from CTA this evening? Okay. So let's move down to Mr. Rubel's report. All right. Thank you. I'd like to remind everyone that Election Day is only two weeks away. It's going to be a big day for all of us. Uh, Tuesday, April the 8th, uh, we have Proposition Farmington Schools on, as a bond proposal on the ballot. And we also have five candidates running for three uh, board positions. Uh, the candidates are Kelly Barnes, uh, Bobby Duncan, uh, Angela Hahn, Donald Hardy, and Howard Hain. So again, looking forward to a strong turnout on Election Day and, and great things for the Farmington community moving forward. I also wanted to congratulate, and you guys kind of stole my thunder earlier, but that's all right, uh, <laughs> three groups for their winter sports achievements. You know, we had a fantastic winter sports season. Uh, boys wrestling took sixth, as Jeff mentioned, in the state competition, and we had uh, six wrestlers that uh, won medals, so that's an awesome achievement. And again, our wrestlers always do a fantastic job, and we're very proud of proud of them and their accomplishments. Boys basketball, obviously, uh, an exciting weekend um, in Columbia. And as we were talking a little bit, you know, all of those teams and the 4A boys were so close together, a couple of possessions, you know, we could have been state champions. But a fantastic performance. It was great to see the community. We had more fans there than anyone that I saw. So it was great to see the support. Uh, and then we also had our Nightline Dancers who finished fifth at the state competition uh, earlier in the month. And we had a, had a great send off for them at the high school. And I think they were actually one point away uh, from taking fourth at the state level. So really a fantastic winter sports season. And, you know, all three of those groups really did a great job representing the Farming, Farmington community and, and make, make me proud to be the superintendent here at Farmington and make me proud to be a Knight. So, again, thank you for all of your support and for those, those teams and their, their coaches, sponsors, and, and all the students that make it, make it a reality. So... Um, looking also looking forward to, um, and we've got to work with our administration at the high school of having either in April or in May of having all of those athletes here recognized uh, at the board meeting. So looking forward to that. And again, just remind everybody to get out and vote on April 8th. Okay, sounds good. Well, since there's no discussion on the items, we're going to move right down to action. So I need a motion to approve the consensual items and a second. So moved. Second. Okay, all those in favor? No opposition. Okay, and um, before I ask for a, a motion to move to adjourn to closed session, I just want to remind you what Mayor Daly always said. He said, vote early and vote often. <laughs> <laughs> so may I have a motion to adjourn to closed session? I move that we adjourn to closed session, discuss personnel pursuant to 610.021. Paragraphs 1, 3, 13, and 14. I need a second. I'll second that. Okay. Davis? Yes. Hans? 
Yes. Payne? Yes. Howard? Yes. Lawson? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Okay, we're in the closed session. Thank Jefferson, you all for coming. Jefferson, great job with the video. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. awesome job. Yeah.